If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have uh, the storyline Witzel to check out. I think that this card is probably going to be the main selection for most people when they do attain, I believe it's level 20, like the last level in the game, where it's 20 and then there's like a pack one afterwards. I forget how it works exactly, but um, with this card, guys, we are taking a look at someone who looks... Pretty decent, to be honest, right? He's a card that gives you very good links in your team. He's a six foot one player, low medium work rates, three star skill moves, four star weak foot, mostly lengthy while being a right footed player. Play styles he has passing, incisive pass, he's got jockey, and then he also has aerial plus. Improved aerial physical presence. Okay. Okay, so we're going to be trying this card out on the shadow chemistry style because the shadow chemistry style is going to be keeping him on the mostly lengthy accelerates which i feel like is gonna be very ideal for the way that this card could potentially perform in game uh he has some shooting capabilities honestly guys if we're gonna be trying out this card on our team it's mainly defensive capabilities that we care about the most right maybe i get a corner kick maybe he goes in the near post and scores them because of the aerial plus but it just depends on if the situation kind of happens right uh passing he has very good passing stats with a four-star weak foot so very good stuff there uh, dribbling on the ball, probably not going to be the craziest, but honestly, he's got like 95 composure and stuff, so some very good stuff. Um, defensive stats will be massively increased on the Shadow Chemistry style, and then for physical stats, he's working with some pretty decent stuff too. Like, he's in the 80s area for that, but he is six foot one with a unique, right? So hopefully the unique body type actually kind of helps out for the physical stuff. So yeah, this is the team that we're going to be using him in. We're just going to be using him in the midfield setup. We'll see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Hold well on, let's go, boys. Oh, okay. It was like a driven uh, law pass there. It was kind of weird. I didn't expect that. Can't make simple passes in this game, unfortunately. Why not? Hey, he actually almost hit that. Ah, oh, nice try, nice try. Nicely done. Has the reach to get that. Good reach. Manual challenge there too. Oh, but you know the deflections in this game. Oh man, that's so unlucky. Good goal. Don't often score a good football goal, so. Well done. Nice law pass. Good tackle. I'll take a free kick there. I 
typical meta goal. No foul, I was about to say. I'm like, you know what? I'll take the foul, though, because on kickoff, you know? Couldn't get the initial reach there. Oh, nothing there. Nothing there as well. There we go, Witzel. Good job, Witzel. Witzel doesn't have like an urgency to defend. Like if you ever use like a rare gold Shuamane with his play styles, he does with the medium high. It makes a, a difference. Like right away with with uh, Witzel, it's a card that I would have to strictly use in a two midfield setup, playing as like my left center defense mid or something, right? But I would have to have that medium high next to him. Oh, at least we got that. Good touch under pressure. Get any defensive play there. There we go. Have to commit that and then open up the space a little bit here. Nothing there. Not even joking, there's like more of an urgency with Bellingham than there is with Witzel for sure, bro. Like, I noticed it on so many different occasions. I've played like how many games so far? Like six, maybe? Almost gets to it. Why it didn't switch me there, I do not know. But Witzel was well positioned. To do like the manual stuff like if i'm right next to him and i have to do a challenge or i'm ne next to him and i have to do like a body to body like that type of stuff works out fine it's the lack of play styles for certain situations and work rates that bothers me a little bit from time to time i will say worst attacking AI i've ever seen in my entire life didn't get the reach there like that stuff he's, he's gonna be okay at that stuff that's why i'm saying like earlier two midfield setup you know what i'm saying should make a run here again right manual stuff good Uh, 
Well, it has to be Mbappe from that angle. There we go, good reach. Leg round switch. Go, nicely done. Well done, well done. See what I'm saying about the Bellingham and Witzel thing? Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Witzel card. So, guys, even uh, if this card is lacking in play styles to make him a pretty solid player to work with, uh, I still feel like he's probably going to be the best selections from the storylines of this season. In regards to meta, though, you know, we tried like Mateusz Cunha from last season and we used Kone as well. And during those reviews, I told you guys that, in my opinion, I felt like Kone was the better meta option to work with, not only for, like, the links uh, that he has with, like, the French and Bayern players, but also with the... Um with the fact that his in-game quality was like pretty decent to work with too. But I wasn't against people going for fodder either, depending on how they ended up building their team, right? Um, it, with this one, like I feel like there's a few things that's a little bit off with him. It's off and it's not off. It's a combination of the two. I'm going to explain why, okay? With this card, he's a low-medium work-rated card. So I was trying him out in that lone CDM area for the 4-1-3-2, right? Just to test all defensive capabilities and all that kind of stuff. The lack of work rates in an area like that is not ideal. It's better to have like either like a high, high, more specifically a medium high, right? So he's not really, really going to be that type of player, right? When I was using this card in game, it just felt like the type of card I had to use in a position where I'm either using him as the stay back while attacking cover center center mid in a 4-3-2-1 or... I'm going to use him in a 4-2-3-1 formation while he's being played as my left or right CDM on stay back while attacking, okay? Because if he's playing that two midfield setup, it's not as bad to work with. But what I will say is two things that are very noticeable with this card was the lack of work rates for, I guess, like consistency, right? The low medium is a little bit weird. That's why I'm saying like you definitely need to use that in a two midfield setup. It'll perform a little bit better there, obviously. Uh, but obviously, it's also going to be the lack of play styles, right? Like, he has Jockey, which is cool. Ariel, honestly, Ariel, the only things that you're going to really like with Ariel is if you're maybe playing, like, a five-back formation and you want to switch him into, like, the right center-back position because someone's, like, crossing the ball far post a lot or something like that. Or, you know, someone goes for a goal kick, you win the ball in the middle. You go for a corner kick, you win the ball from the near post headers as well. But, you know, there's going to be some players that might be a little bit better to work with, depending on who you have in your team. If your center backs don't have, like, aerial and power header, then obviously he's going to be the guy that hits those for you as well. But, yeah, generally speaking, I will say that he's probably still going to be the better option. Like, I've seen what a Wobie and stuff look like. Maybe Karsdorp wouldn't be bad, actually, depending on how you actually line him up. Karsdorp might not be a bad meta option either. Um, but with Witzel... What I will say is that when you actually do the manual stuff with them, and it was pretty noticeable because of like jockey and stuff, right? When you do the manual stuff with them, like you do a manual challenge uh, you know, with a standing tackle and stuff, you go for like the body to body. Those types of things are decent to work with because of the fact that he's a bigger player to work with, right? So interceptions came off nicely, all that type of deal. But it's that urgency to defend that the card just doesn't feel like he has. Like if I wanted to use this formation, like the 4132, I would prefer to use a Shua Mane there in that general position, right? But like a rare gold Shua Mane as well. But Shua Mane is like a unique case because if Shua Mane's card just from that rare gold was 100k, I'd probably tell you guys to do that SBC because defensively that card is crazy. But again, guys, what's the main difference between a card like that and Witzel? It's obviously the fact that he has the play styles. Jockey, Intercept, uh, Anticipate, Bruiser, like all of those are super noticeable to work with in game. So maybe with Witzel in the future, if you can put him in some sort of like evolutions and he can get play styles, that'd be great. But the lack of play style is definitely noticeable if you want to use him mainly as a CDM. That's why I'm saying 
or 231 next to somebody else. Like let's say for instance, you're using Shua Mane with Witzel. He's actually gonna be really good to use in that uh, sort of position, right? But if you're thinking he's gonna do like crazy defensive stuff for you on a consistent basis, no, it's gonna be sometimes with this card because of the lack of play styles and work rates, okay? But I still think he's the better selection. I mean, it's it's either that, it will be, might not be as meta. And then Karsdorp actually, I don't know if I'll be able to do a Karsdorp review to be honest with you, because it's a fullback. It's kind of boring to review these guys. But this guy actually doesn't look bad, if I'm going to be honest with you. Like, this guy, uh, yeah, I'm going to be honest, he might be the, the better meta option for the future. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a lengthy player. His agility and bounce is not great, and he's a medium medium, which is a little bit weird, but he's kind of formatted nicely for longevity. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends on how you, uh, on how you view it. But... Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. Guys, it's not to say Witzel's a bad player. Every time people hear me talk like this, it's like, oh, Witzel's terrible. No, you just got to use him in a specific way. He's not going to be like that Schwomane type, right? Because he's lacking in that work rate and play style. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.